Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 14 in Kusto playlist. In this video, we will be discussing about range operator in Kusto query language. In our previous video, we have already discussed about print operator. So this video, we will be focusing on range operator in Kusto, like how to use it. With an example, we will discuss that. So before watching this video, I will always encourage to watch Azure Data Explorer playlist because that's where I discussed like what is data explorer cluster and how to create a database there, how to create a table there. On top of data explorer only, we will use the Kusto language basically. So it's little mandatory to watch ADX playlist first, at least four or five videos initially to get a high level idea. After that, you can see all the videos from the Kusto playlist in the sequence order to get most out of these videos. Now, let's understand what is range operator and how it will actually work in Kusto query language. So this range operator actually generates a single column table with values. In our previous video, we discussed about print operator, right? It will generate a table with a single row, right? With multiple columns. Here it is with multiple rows, single column. This range operator will help you to get output similar to like that, like single column with multiple rows. I will practically explain. If you see here, this output table has only one column called column one and which has some multiple values here. Uh, this range operator syntax will be something like this range. Then what is the column name you want to get from? Then uh, you have to define a loop here. It's kind of a for loop actually from starting position value and ending position value. And what is the criteria to increment that values or to decrement that values? So this is how it should be. And we cannot use uh, strings here actually. It can be integer, decimal, date, time values only, not strings. So when I practically explain you this, you will make more sense of it. Let me go to Kusto Explorer. And in our past videos, you know that in the Kusto Explorer, we connected to the help cluster. It's the same cluster. That's fine. So now let's try to use the range operator, range. Then I want to get a column called column one from in that uh, column one, I want to get values from one to 10. So from one to 10, start to stop. If you see the syntax here from starting position, then stop position, then step, then what is the step? So what here you can do step one, that means increment by one, one. So if I execute this, I will be getting a table in output, which will contain column one and it has all the values like one to 10. I can also increment by 2, 2. If I do step 2 and if I run it, you can see 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 2, 7, 7 plus 2, 9. Then after 9 plus 2, 11, but stop is at 10. So it was not proceeded further. So that's how it will work. Not only this, we can even get the dates. For example, uh, there is something called ago function in which I want to, from today's date, I want to go 7 days back from seven days back to today's date and in the step we can define that increment actually so what i can do i want to like increment by one day something like this now if i execute this i will get like from today's uh, from today to seven days that means 18th minus uh, seven it's 11th then from 11th to 18th okay so all the dates will come and i incremented by two days so oh, sorry one day so it incremented only one day something like that okay so let me go back to the uh, same example where i used from 1 to 10 so let me go from 1 to 10 increment by 1 now if i run this as i said i will be getting like a, a output table with column 1 which will have 1 to 10 in this maybe let's assume i want to take out only even numbers out so what i can do here is uh, as i discussed in my previous uh, print video as well there is something called a let using that we can store output of any table expression into a variable so here this entire table will come into table one then table one from the table one i want to take where column one divided by two equals to equals to zero this will get me all the even numbers so now this entire table 1 to 10 will come here and on top of it I'm using a where operator to filter the data and I'm using a condition where it will completely divided by 0 and it will get 0 out of it I mean divided by 2 and it should get 0 so this is a logic 
to find whether it is a even number or odd number right so that logic i am using it now when i run this i will be getting all the even numbers so like this range operator will actually help you to generate a single column table of values uh, i hope you got an idea like how range operator will actually work now uh, in my real time scenarios playlist for the kushto i will try to cover some use case as well using this range operator and everything thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much